Hi everyone, it's Melissa from PeaceNotsJewelry.com. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all the different cords I like to work with when it comes to macrame. It has taken me many years to acquire this knowledge to learn all about the different properties of these amazing cords and I'm super excited to share with you all that I have learned. I really wish this information was available to me all in one place when I started making jewelry 12 years ago. So I'm going to share with you all the pros and cons of each cord as well as what great retailers I like to purchase from. So really great information for beginners up to advanced macrame artists. So let's get into it. Um, first off, I'm going to be talking about the wa waxed polyester cord that I recently purchased from Molka Macrame. You can find them on YouTube or on Etsy. If you're going to search for them on Etsy, I believe you have to search under Malka Jewelry. Today, I'm only showing you like a couple of colors, but it comes in many different colors. The thickness is 0.8 millimeter. It's also available in one millimeter. The texture is super soft. It's almost like a um, silk. Um, you can burn the edges. They are durable, lightweight, and you can get it wet and it dries easy. I think this would be a great cord for beginners. Um, this cord is thick enough to where you feel like your projects don't take as long to make. The downsides are um, this supplier is based out of India, so the shipments do take a while to get to the US, especially with the COVID situation. But I think all of us need to be um, uh, courteous of that fact. You know, companies don't really have much um, say in this, so um, I wasn't really upset. Uh, the cord is um, thick to where I am not able to use my size 11 beads, which are my favorite size. I use the Delica and the Czech seed beads. So the cord is just a little bit too thick uh, for those beads to fit in. Um, here is a finished piece, a bracelet that I did. Um, this was a charm that was included in, as a free gift in the recent purchase I did. So as you can see, super shiny. Uh, finish. Um, so let's go on to the next one. This is a nylon cord. Um, it is a 0.5 millimeter thickness, so a little bit smaller. The, um, the company I like to purchase the nylon from is um, micromacramejewelry.com. She is a US-based macrame artist. Um, so her name is Joan Babcock. She makes museum quality pieces. Uh, her website is very informative. She has books for you to purchase, kits. Um, she has macrame supplies, including this nylon cord. Um, I do also suggest that you support local bead stores, so you can find this at your local bead um, store as well as mass bead retailers such as um, Hobby Lobby and Michaels. When I started making macrame, uh, they did not have it everywhere, so definitely take advantage of this. It's also called um, Eslon cord or Ceylon cord. Um, so, uh, just be on the lookout for that. Just like the wax polyester, you can burn the edges. Uh, it is durable and lightweight. You can also get it wet and it dries easily. It does have a shiny finish and it almost creates this like delicate look to it. The downsize to um, this cord is that because it has a small uh, thickness, it can feel like projects take time. Um, some beginners get frustrated because the thickness is so small, so it might be hard for you to see uh, the project that you're working on, as well as stringing the smaller size beads is a challenge as well. 
Also, this cord tends to curl because it's rolled up and sold on these spools. So when you cut the pieces that you need, um, usually the larger one isn't so bad, but when you get halfway down, um, it tends to curl. So it does make it a little bit difficult to work with, but I'm so used to it, it doesn't really bother me anymore. Um, so let's move on. Next, we're gonna talk about hemp. So this um, style hemp that I'm featuring in this video is a one millimeter cord. Um, I like to purchase my hemp from hempbeatery.com. They are based out of Colorado, so supporting U.S. businesses is always a bonus. Um, hemp cord is pretty inexpensive, which is great for beginners because, um, you know, you can uh, use as much as you want and practice on the cord so it doesn't feel like you're wasting any cord. Um, also, there's many different thicknesses, so that is also a bonus. The color options are pretty endless. Um, I know when I first started making macrame, the um, cord options uh, was pretty minimal, but as you can see, um, what's even cool about hemp is that they dye it. Um, so this is like a mix between blue and natural hemp. Um, it is easy to work with. Um, the downside I feel like is that if you are look, looking to sell your work, it tends to be known as inexpensive in quality. So to resell, um, it doesn't really have a high value. Um, you can't burn the edges like you can with the wax, polyester, and nylon cord. So it really doesn't give you that clean finish. Um, most of the time you have to use an overhand knot in order to finish your piece. So here I just have um, an example of a bracelet that I made. This is using square knots. So uh, um, it just has like this natural feel to it. Um, it's definitely somewhat itchy for some um, hemp. Um, I don't really find that it bothers me, but some people do. Um, find it a bit itchy. Um, it just has a very, you know, 60s, 70s vibe, which I love. Um, you can get hemp wet, um, but it does tend to take longer to dry uh, than your nylon and your wax polyesters. So the next cords that I'm going to be talking about is leather cord. Um, today I'm going to be showing you the spools that I bought from um, tandyleather.com. Uh, this is in black and brown and the thickness is again two millimeter cord. Um, I tend to use this as a base to macrame, meaning that I use it um, over, I mean underneath um, and put a nylon cord over top so that I can create a thicker um, piece. Today I just did a super simple example of an overhand knot with charm um, and a square knot closure. So um, this is uh, really nice to just add some different detail texture to your designs. Uh, because leather is more expensive, you can resell um, for a higher value. Um, you can braid with leather, which is really cool. Um, something I haven't really um, done very much. So I definitely need to, I've bought books, but I haven't really experimented with it. You can buy um, different thicknesses, which is good. Um, the downside is, is, is that it can be expensive um, and it's also stiffer to work with. So some people may find this as a downside, other people might find this as a benefit. So it's kind of just your own aesthetic and design. So the next one that we're gonna be talking about is a polished braided cotton cord. 
Um, I purchased mine from mainthread.com in a one millimeter. Again, um, I will be featuring the, um, the links down below in the comment section. So um, again, this is one millimeter, but you can buy it in 0.5 um, millimeter up to two millimeter thickness. It does have many color options. I am featuring it in black and red. Uh, it does have a shiny um, finish to it, which is nice. Um, it has a soft feel and it um, isn't as thick uh, as the leather. The downside is, is that when it does get wet, it tends to fade over time, the color, and the ends um, fray. So if that's your aesthetic um, in your jewelry making, then definitely this is your number one choice. But, um, you know, everyone is different. Everyone makes different style aesthetics. Um, I think this is a great option if leather is too expensive for you, you want to um, practice with cotton. Uh, here is an example of a bracelet I made. Uh, this is just super simple, nothing extravagant about it, but I just wanted to show you that you can use nylon cord over top of the cotton cord to kind of give it just a different feel and look. Um, and thickness, and I did a um, spiral knot, so uh, really cool. Next, we're going to be talking about waxed linen. Oh, I love this one. This was a big surprise. I kind of just stumbled upon this website one day. It's called Royal Wood. Um, again, I'll post the link down below. This um, is a Irish waxed linen thread. It has many different um, plies, which is also known as thicknesses, um, and then it has many color options. I believe the one that I am showing you today is a four ply, so it's kind of like a, a medium range. Um, it has a super waxy finish. So I am, most of the time people use it for basket weaving, but I love to use it for macrame. Um, some of the downsides um, are you may feel that the waxy finish is a little bit too much. Um, you also can't burn the edges for a clean finish. So again, like the hemp, I have to use an overhand knot to uh, finish my pieces or um, I like adding buttons at the end um, because it just kind of fits with the style and aesthetic of the Irish wax linen. Um, okay, let's go on to the next and last one. This is a uh, waxed polyester. It is a one millimeter that I'm showing you today. The brand name is called Linhasta. I know I'm probably um, pronouncing that incorrectly, so I apologize. Um, this brand is super popular. You can buy it just about anywhere. If you Google it, you'll have thousands of places um, uh, to buy from. Um, but the one I like to buy from is called Exotic Brazilian. I found them on Etsy. They are based out of Portugal. Um, I did make a purchase before COVID and they were just super fast, super fast shipping. But again, with COVID, I'm not really sure. Um, like most of the other cords, there are plenty of color options to choose from and there's off, off, um, also different thickness options. So um, this is pretty much the gold standard of macrame cord. If you want top-notch quality, I would suggest Linhasta. Um, because of the color options, because of the durability and the quality, it's just um, the go-to. Um, it does have a wax finish to it, so if you are not interested in that wax feel, then I would suggest going with the waxed polyester or the nylon cord. 
You can burn the edges, which is um, one of the reasons macrame artists love it so much. I tend to find that this does, um, cord is great for men's designs just because it has like a thicker aesthetic. Um, this is an example of a bracelet that I made and I just feel like because of the thickness of it, it just matches well with men's designs. It kind of almost has that rugged look too. You can get this wet and it'll, uh, it almost feels like it's waterproof, honestly. Um, I never, anytime I make something, I just never take it off. Um, the downside is I literally have no downsides for this uh, waxed polyester. I just think it's an amazing cord. Um, so that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. And if you have a moment, please like, comment, subscribe, and or share so that I know my con content is relatable. Um, thank you all so much and take care.